Hi there, my name's Anna and welcome back to my art channel. In today's video I'm painting another jellyfish. This time I'm using gouache and um, I painted this painting a good while ago, I think in January of this year. Um, but uh, now I've got around to doing the voice over to this painting. Um, as you can see, I've already sketched out my little jellyfish, or at least I've done some indications of where the head of the jellyfish is, and I'm preparing my palette now. And uh, yeah, starting off painting in the background. And here I'm using a synthetic brush. Um, this one is both suitable for watercolor and gouache. I would nearly prefer it to be a little bit stiffer for gouache, just so you can spread the paint around a little, little bit more effective and um, I'm using a mix of black and blue just uh, to indicate the deep ocean and um, yeah just painting that around my jellyfish I'm preserving a little bit of white where the head and center mass of the jellyfish is just um, to make it easier later on. I can paint over the background with gouache, you can paint light over dark, but um, if you want really vibrant colors, it is better to have a white surface underneath. So you don't start lifting the blue background and mixing your colors because I'm going to be using yellow in a minute and I don't want a green mixture there. And uh, you can see I'm putting it down another layer of paint here just to make the background really dark and uniform and opaque. And in this case, I'm using a flat brush, which was probably a bit more effective to lay down, lay down a larger area of color here. And now you can see I'm putting down those yellow tones in the center of the jellyfish. There's a lot of yellow, orange and red going on. And these colors are really glowing out of the center of the jellyfish. And had I put the dark blue background underneath this, it would have not been as vibrant and it would have probably mixed in with the background because that's what happens with gouache. It is water reactivatable. And if you're not careful, those colors will mix together where you don't want them to. So what I've painted so far of the jellyfish is uh, the bottom mass of tentacles that uh, is really dense and there's a red and yellow glowing out from the center of the jellyfish here. And now I'm working on the head of the jellyfish and I'm just using a really light wash of blue and a little bit of white on the top of the head and in the center of the head again there's yellow and red glowing from in there and I'm just I'm not putting down large areas of color yet I'm just indicating certain areas where the color is and I'm slowly building up my jellyfish that way And I keep moving between the different areas of the painting for one to let certain areas dry and also to kind of build it up all at once. And well, really, I just go where my interest takes me at the time. You can see that I've already put some tentacles down over the background color and there I used opaque white and mixed a little bit of blue into it. And that looks very nice when, when it's just white areas and um, I'll add a lot more of those tentacles flying off into the distance towards the end of the painting process. And I'm keeping on building this jellyfish. I'm adding some more white to the head and kind of going over, glazing over basically the other colors just really to indicate that there is a see-through outer jelly shell and from the center of it there's colors glowing out just really trying to indicate the translucency and the glow of the jellyfish and i'm also indicating the shape of the head a little bit more the folds and crevices and i'm putting more color down now on the bottom mass as well you can see there's also some purples going on there. So there's yellow, red, orange, purple, and blue in this jellyfish. A 
little bit more blue there on top, just slowly layering until I get the right colors and textures. Sometimes I'm really just glazing the color over what's underneath and sometimes I'm actually intentionally reactivating some of the areas to get a bit of a smoother blend. Again, I'm glazing some white over the head of the jellyfish. other areas shaping that center red glow a little bit and adding some more folds and crevices and that way you can keep working until you've reached the result you want also adding some more whitish yellow there to the center mass and now I'm working some more on the tentacles that are flying off into the distance. And it's really nice and uncomplicated to be able to work this way to add lighter colors over the dark. It's just a lot more relaxing. You don't have to plan as much in advance to preserve those areas. Glazing a little bit of color over the tentacles in the center just to cover any areas that haven't been covered with color yet so far. So that I can put more defined tentacles over those areas in a minute using the opaque white. are just kind of a mess curling and waving around the jellyfish and I'm just using a round brush for this that has a fine tip and that way it's fairly easy to add these fine tentacles on top just adding to that mass of tentacles now um, always more flowing out into the distance over the jellyfish and around it and it just kind of adds to this interior look with the glow of the jellyfish and those tentacles just drifting off to the sides I think it just looks really magical I don't actually like seeing jellyfish in real life I wouldn't want to be near one um, but they look really nice on pictures and in painting. And I'm really pleased with how this painting turned out. So let me know, how do you like this painting? Did you paint along with me? And uh, yeah, which one of my jellyfish uh, drawings and paintings I did of late did you like best? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you again soon in one of my next videos. Take care and bye bye.